Welcome back to Brush Up Your Game. When somebody says that they don't get Cosmic, I show them Loser. Because to me, this is the quintessential power that when I first saw it, I went, ah, okay, that's what this game can do. So let's talk about Loser. Green level power, so you know it's not going to be hyper complicated. But I think there's a bit more to it. So you have the power of Upset. As a main player, before encounter cards are selected, you may use this power to declare an Upset. Once an Upset has been declared, both main players must play attack cards if possible. Then, after cards are revealed, the winning side loses and the losing side wins. This occurs after all other game effects are resolved, such as the human's power being zapped, reinforcements, kickers, all that good stuff. So, I give you the loser. And a lot of the thought that goes into how to play it. Because this is a bluffing power. This is, uh, you have the ability to send one ship and say, I don't want allies. Now, maybe you're coming in full of confidence, but you're not portraying that confidence. You're portraying weakness. The other side brings a bunch of allies. And you start going, oh, wait a minute. Ah, upset. Yep. Or you go, nah, we're good. Straight up fight. And you throw the attack 40 down. It's those moments where you never quite know what loser is thinking, what loser has, because they don't have to declare an upset. Loser is not mandatory. This is may use optional power here. The, the choice behind loser makes it arguably one of the best powers in at least the base set, because it's all about player agency. There is total control over what happens. Now, the cards are going to play out. Players are going to gunk up the works. It's not like it's a guarantee by any means. Because the moment you say upset, now that attack zero in my hand that I've been sitting on going, oh, well, this is going to be a bad card. I, uh, hmm, I don't know what to do with this. Now all of a sudden it's brilliant. Or you bring in negative cards uh, from the reinforcement deck, the, or sorry, the rewards deck. Those now have immense power. Loser changes the scope of the game. Just like a virus and antimatter does. But see, those are mandatory powers. Those you have to use. Again, comes back to choice. The only thing Loser does is it forces attack cards to be played. You can't play a negotiate unless you have no attack cards. In fact, my favorite story from my very early days of Cosmic, I got to play the Loser, and I burned through my attack cards. Just made a point, playing every attack card I could. I was left with nothing but negotiates, and I think I had four negotiates in my opening hand. And then I'm like, okay, I declare an upset. Negotiate. I declare an upset. Negotiate. And I'm losing, right? You play negotiate against an attack card. You've lost, except I'm winning. At that moment, I've become the pacifist, except my opponent does not have the ability to respond in kind to make a deal. I had ultimate power with one of the worst hands you could possibly have in Cosmic. Now, right, stars head to align for that to, to happen, but that's just how you can play loser. But really, loser comes down to how well can you bluff? Are you going to send four, convey a lot of strength, bring some allies in? and then play uh, or declare an upset? How well can you play reinforcements to the other side to bring their total up, to lower, uh, to make you the loser, thus the winner? 
there's a lot of facets facets going on uh, where you have to consider what battle's worth winning, what battle's worth losing. I suppose that's true in all games of Cosmic, with all powers of Cosmic. But loser kind of forces you to reevaluate the scope of your hand. Um, loser changes the dynamic of the deck. Players are going to want to give you bad cards if they want to be on your side. They're going to want to kind of stick you with medium cards. The attack 10 is kind of loser's worst enemy because it's not high enough to be good. It's not low enough to be bad. And and so if you have a, a handful of attack 12s, 10s, even like a 9 and an 8, you're kind of sitting there as loser going, I, I don't know what to do. Um, at that point, I say, uh, get friends. Really get friends and hope. Because uh, at that point, you're, you're kind of done. Um, but yeah, the loser's, the loser's a lot of fun. I, I, have, I have fun playing loser, and I love the artwork here. This is just fantastic artwork for the loser. Uh, let's take a look at the flare. All right, the wild here. As a main player before in counter cards are selected, you may declare that both sides lose, sending all involved ships to the warp. That is a game saver. That, that's where you're getting attacked to end the game. Uh, somebody's going for their fifth colony, and you say, eh, no, loser flyer, loser wild, and uh, we're going to you're going to have to try again next time. So, a uh, very powerful wild. Uh, the super, you can wait until after cards are selected, but before they are revealed, before declaring an upset. That, uh, that's a lot of fun. Uh, now, that does mean that people can play negotiates, but uh, it, it still shapes the flow of the game. More so, you know that you have it, at least the first time you get to play it. Your opponents don't know that you have it. So that's going to really shape the, the outcome of the game. Or at least that in, that one encounter. All right. Flavor text is always to wrap it up. The enigmatic losers have proven to be quite cunning in battle. Strengths become weaknesses and weaknesses strengths. As the glassy-eyed loser shows its opponents that nice guys finish first. I like that. All right. Thank you all for watching. And until next time, keep brushing up your game. Take care.